Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another week of Bring Home the Bounty Reveals. This is week 11. Um, yeah, pretty exciting week. Uh, one more one more to go, which is how it's flown. It's been ridiculous. So yeah, a couple of cool gaming greats related figure reveals today. So we're going to just run through those quickly and have a little bit of a chat about each one. Uh, mostly repacks and repaints, but you know, this is how it's done. This is, this is how I feel is a good use of a repaint of a figure so we're going to kick off with the one black series reveal and then we'll get into the three vintage collection reveals and here we have the black series one it is the umbara operative arc trooper i believe it's meant to be umbara they have spelt it wrong on the box but that isn't the first for hasbro so <laughs> we'll let them pass because this this arc trooper looks absolutely sick it looks so good Great repaint of Echo, which we saw earlier this year in the Clone Wars inspired packaging. And uh, yeah, I think a very worthy addition to gaming greats. Um, you know, it's it's a cool, cool trooper. You know, it's a great figure to start off with and uh, to sort of build up some cool ranks of awesome looking clone troopers, to be honest, is is a good thing. I, I dig it. I think it's I think it's good. Um, what I don't like is the price point here in Australia, Zing Pop Culture will charge $55 for gaming greats, black series figures, $10 more than the regular price of a normal black series figure at $45. So that's the only sort of downside that I see towards the uh, gaming greats going forward. If uh, Zing and EB Games would like to drop their prices a little bit, just, <laughs> you know, they're cheap re-releases re for these figures. so. I don't see the point of having a higher price point. Um, same thing with the uh, Vintage Collection Gaming Greats. The first wave they put out earlier this year were at a price point of $35 each, as opposed to the normal $25 to $29 for regular TVC figures, which is still a little high for these days, but it is what it is. And to start off the Vintage Collection uh, reveals for the Gaming Greats, we have Arc Trooper, this is the same one, um Umbara Operative. and. Uh, what I like here is that they've gotten rid of the Gaming Greats logo, the Battlefront logo off the front of the card, and they've just put the Battlefront 2 logo up in the top in the red um, font up there in the uh, above the pill. I think that's a great design choice. I think they should have started with that, to be honest. Um, using that header, header at the top there is just a great way to sort of show exactly where it's coming from. Um, I think a gaming great sticker maybe on the uh, bubble would look nice. You know, just something that you could peel off if you're a collector, didn't want to have that showing, you just wanted to have the figure. But yeah, much better than having the logo sort of printed just above the, the Kenner logo. Um, so yeah, definitely a, a move in the right direction. The Arc Trooper, we know that's a good figure, so an awesome repaint I'm not going to complain about. Up next, we have another Arc Trooper. Uh, this one is pretty much the stock standard sort of Arc Trooper that you unlock in Battlefront 2. Um, you can get obviously other skins, but this is the one you start with for the Arc Trooper. And it's a cool one. I think it's a great, great release. The card art looks great with the Arc Trooper with his two pistols on Kamino by the looks of it, which is, you know, it makes sense. Clones on Kamino. And uh, yeah, when I, th when I think of Battlefront 2, I do think a lot of Kamino, I do, when I'm playing Supremacy, I do tend to end up on Kamino quite a lot, which I enjoy that. I enjoy that level. I think it's a, a good map. Um, so yeah, this is another one. Again, Star Wars Battlefront 2. I don't know if they needed to put that in the, uh, in the brackets on the pill there, as well as in the header at the top, but that's okay. It's fine. Um, yeah, I think, I think it's a cool looking figure. I'd love to hear what you guys think. And last but not least, for the new reveals today, is this Arc Trooper, which I can't actually read that on my screen at the moment, so I can't remember what it says. But, but uh, yeah, I'm sure someone will put it down in the comments below. If not, I will remember by the time I put this up. But it's a cool looking, another cool looking Arc Trooper. Um, can't get enough Arc Troopers. Uh, yeah, awesome. I'd love to see some, some of the Arc Troopers that actually did appear in the Clone Wars, like... Um, there was Colt, Blitz, and there was another one, I can't remember, which we did get figures of back in the day. Um, some of them are really pricey on the secondary market now. But this one looks pretty good. Another one on Camino looks awesome. I think the last one was on Camino. Um, but yeah, this one definitely is on Camino. I think it looks great. And while this isn't a 
new release today for Bring Home the Bounty. It is something I wanted to speak about. This dropped earlier in the week. It is another army building pack, which is a Hasbro Pulse exclusive, and it's the Shore Trooper squad. Um, looking really good. Great looking pack. Um, let's have a look at the figures. Loose. And what I love here is that they've actually included all ranks. They've got the... Uh, I can't remember what the ranks are, but you've got two different ranking soldiers based on their different paint schemes, and then you have uh, the two just regular troopers, which is fantastic, and you actually see that trooper on the left actually has the Karma and a different belt, which is fantastic for these figures. Uh, my biggest disappointment is that they are Hasbro Pulse exclusives, so they're virtually impossible for us to get here in Australia because we don't have access to Hasbro Pulse. There is no one getting these uh, outside of Hasbro Pulse, so it, it's looking like it's a pack we're going to have to miss out on, or you know we're going to have to source some source through someone else internationally, and that ends up being really really expensive. So that's a little bit of a bummer. We haven't been able to get the Stormtrooper pack, the Rebel Trooper pack, which I don't think has been released yet, and uh, this one will be released sometime in 2022, I believe. Um, but yeah, great looking set. Just wanted to touch on it while I, while it was still fresh in my mind. Um, and yeah, that's it. So just quickly wrapping up week 11 of Bring Home the Bounty. Some cool reveals this week. One more one more week to go next week after Christmas. Um, hopefully we get something yummy. Um, really, really excited to sort of see what's going to come up. Then we'll probably be looking forward to toy fairs in New York and London in January and February respectively um, coming into the new year. So this might be the last sort of bunch of reveals for the year. We've got so many figures coming next year. Um, I think Yakface has counted like 80 plus and we're probably looking at about 85 figures um, that are now actively available for pre-order through whoever you buy through. So it's a lot of stuff. So please let me know in the comments below what you think. How do you feel about these reveals? I dig them. I like the Ark Troopers. I think they're good. I'm definitely going to be picking them up. Hopefully uh, some price changes could happen for Zing and, e and EB Games here in Australia. Um, I don't think it will, but I'd love to see it. So, um, particularly because the gaming greats in Black Series is quite of a quite a repainty, repacky sort of line subline of, of the Black Series. So I'd love to sort of see that reflected the pricing. Um, so yeah, thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you all next week. Hope you have a great one, and may the force be with you always.